Women's basketball, they're already overseas. The Czech Republic, Austria, and Slovenia, and Italy. They come back on the 30th. Uh, a comment about uh, Amber Whiting's recruiting in just the first 18 months on the job. And we've had a lot of them on here. In fact, we had one who'd committed from Canada right live on our, on our show, um, the number two player in Canada. It's fascinating to me that a, pl- a coach can come from Burley High School and step in and build the kind of roster her and her staff have built in such a short period of time. It's about the heart. Yeah. But there's just like, it's, the, it's just about timing. And kind of sometimes the stars are aligned, but she's got a great plan. Yeah. And, you know, I saw that plan when we were um, in the interview process. And there's great candidates out there. But there's like she had this confidence in a plan that included recruiting. And, you know, like you don't really recruit, but her plan was extensive. Yeah. And she and her husband, who her husband was a great player for us at BYU, you know, you, you go home at night. I don't think in that household they're watching TV. I think they're drawing X's and O's. <laughs> we, and we had the whole clan. The we had the whole clan in here the whole twice. Family was here. And, 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 and we're like, oh wow, that that is a very competitive family. And Amari's right there with she him. She just wants the ball. That's what Amari yeah, wants. And, and I, I think with Amber, like I, when I say the heart, in this time of these young men and young women, the most important aspect of coaching is not necessarily the X's and O's and the strategy, though they are important. They're on that list. But you have to connect. You have to connect with these young men and women. This is their era. Yeah. They do things their way. I'm going to tell you a real quick story. Right. A dear friend of mine uh, you know, that I know, he's a, a generation specialist, Dr. Tim Elmore. And he w- played high school football at the same time. I didn't know him in high school, but same time in L.A. So we're the same era. And he, we were talking about this, genera- this generation. And he said, Tom, I'm going to tell you something. This generation is different. When you and I were playing, we would, quote, run through a wall for our coach. These kids ain't going to run through a wall for their coach right now. Here's what they want to do. They want to run up to the wall together with the coach and together figure out a way how to break it down. And I went, oh, my gosh. That's, that's exactly how it is. They want to be involved. They want to be part of it. They don't want to be told what to do. It's not my way or the highway. And so I, in Amber, I could see her, like her, her feelings and emotions and love for the student athletes. Now, she's hard. Yo, on she, those, she, she's hard she, on that she, team. She grinds and but works. She, she earns their respect and love to where they, can, they have the possibility to connect yeah. every day. You do this day in, day out. It can't be that you bring them roses one day and then bury them the next. You have to connect every single day. And that's what I see in her. Yeah, we, we well feel they're, they're going to be, when we talk to, to Amber, she says, we're going to be young, but we're going to be talented. No, and so and she says, watch us play. We're going to have some fun. I, and I love that mentality. Hey, and, and when this young team gets a year under her belt, under, and, and yeah. maybe two years, they're going to be contenders. Yeah.